first and I was the hero of the comic book. Hello you two, welcome to another installment of the Metarog Saga or the Avon Comics Witchcraft. And right now what I want to do is I want to go over the interior because we're going to start working on this interior so we can get it done for Roger. Now, off camera, I basically flattened out the book in my humidity chamber. And although the interior pages are brittle, you can flatten out the interior if you take your time with the humidity chamber. You want to introduce moisture and then you slowly bend it, bend it, let it lay flat with the interior down and then it will slowly drop and you slowly introduce weight on the cover side of the spine. So these staples are rusted as anything. I don't think that we're going to be able to salvage the staples but you know what? We'll try. And the only way we can try is we need to remove them and we need to remove the rust. If, um, if we can't save the staples, maybe we can use the donor staples or the donor book because they look like they're in pretty good condition. I think we're going to wind up using the actual staples from the donor book wild bill hickok would everyone like to give for me to give this book away for my 1500 subscriber giveaway this is an awesome golden age book it is awesome but this is not the prize that i'm going to give away so let's talk about this a little bit further now what i want to do is let's see which portions of the book are not connected and right now we have the centerfold as you can see the whole areas of the staples are rotted out with rust infested paper so what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to remove all of this paper we're not gonna keep rusted paper in this book after we did such a great job with the cover so I'll scrape this out but let's peel off the layers like an onion. And what I'm going to do is what I did similar to James Gallegos's book, The Wiz Comics. I'm going to have to remove all this paper and we're going to leaf cast it. So there's the centerfold. Look at that artwork. Pretty cool. Now we're going to see if the second from the center wrap is connected. And I can see right now it's not. So we'll take that off. And I like to keep things in order. And then what I'll do is I will essentially document each page with my camera. And we will put it in order so I have a reference. Okay, so here is the bottom staple. And as everyone knows, I always say... No metal tools, but in this case, we can use a metal tool. And the reason why we can use the metal tool is because these staples are in such bad condition that I am not worried about marring them or scarring them at all with my tools because... The chances that we are going to reuse these are next to none. So that is the bottom staple. Let's push it through. Let's see what we got. And let's see if I can sneak it out. And right there you see it's not even in existence because it's on. There it is. Because it's underneath the first wrap, which is actually detached so there's your staple am i going to worry about with this book dealing with tape and putting the staple 
Bonham staple tops. No, I'm not. Because, like I said, this book is in very poor shape, the interior. And we're going to make new holes in order to put the donor staples in. Because I'm not even going to waste the time trying to rehab those staples. Because I know that they are not strong enough to hold this book together. I can probably snap them with my fingers because they're so rusted through. Where zombies walk. Look at this awesome artwork. It's, it's really... A wonderful publication. So I'm just peeling each of the pages off. Roger, I hope you don't care, but there is a piece that is removed. Someone cut out a coupon, a Merry Christmas coupon. So what I'll do, again, this was December, January, this publication. So that's very interesting. Maybe I can find that in the donor book. If it was a Christmas error, I don't know. But we'll take a look. If not, Roger, let me know if you want me to leaf cast that section. And I think I will. Why not? So we're peeling through the pages like the layers of an onion. And lo and behold, we don't even have a top staple. Look at that. The top staple is non-existent. So all we have is one rusted bottom staple. So this was just a preview of the interior of the book. And I want to give a game plan on what I am going to do. There is a slight smell coming from this book. I was able to get it out with the moisture to a degree. So what I want to do is I want to wash each page in water. We're going to soak it. And I'm going to use a mild detergent in the form of palm olive antibacterial soap. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to see how it comes out. Because sometimes just soaking the cover between Reme paper allows it to number one, deacidify, number two, or at least it draws out some of the impurities, number three, will be able to clean the musty smell out. After washing each page, we're gonna flatten it out, and then we're gonna go right to leaf casting and the rehab of the interior pages, and then we'll see where it takes us. So. That's it for now, just a quick overview, and like, comment, and share, and stay tuned!